Now, a very good day, everybody. I've been promising for a while to do a three or four part series on antenna modeling. So what we're gonna do today is, this is the beginning of a three or four part series. What we're gonna do is show you how to get the software modeling that I use, and we'll give you a brief overview. And I'll keep it really short, really sweet, and very easy. So stick around if you want to know any more of these. So all I'm gonna do is I've got the internet running at the moment. I'm gonna do M-M-A-N-A-G-A-L download. Okay, because that's what I'm after. And uh, I think I'm after this second hit here. And I seem to remember halfway down here. There it is, download M-M-A-N-A, -A, blah, 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 basic version. All right, so let us download that. So all you do is you unzip that and install it anywhere you like, even on a zip drive. It's completely transportable. Once you've done that, we can shut this down here and I'll fire it up like I've just installed it as you have. So I'll maximize this so you can see what the hell I'm doing. For some reason, it starts on this tab. And if you have never seen this before, you go, where the hell do I start and what do I do? So we've got four tabs here. One, two, three, and four. So the geometry tab is where you would type some numbers. Okay. Then we can view our antenna and we can zoom it in and out from here. This shows you the calculations that we've done. And this will show you a really cool far field plot. All right. So I think what we should do is at least build one really simple antenna. There we are. We will build an antenna about 10.2 meters long. And although it's not important we do this, you can actually just type the, prob the probable target frequency that we're after just there where it says 7.2. So this would be a 40 meter vertical. It says Z2 because Z1 is sitting on the ground. So this would be a ground mounted vertical. And we can see that ground mounted vertical. And if I unzoom this, I used to sometimes wonder what that Z meant. Anyway, you can then hold the control key down and click with your mouse and you can drag that down a wee bit. And then with your mouse, you can rotate it as well. Not that we really want to rotate a single vertical, so it'd be a bit pointless. All right, at the moment we're not doing anything. It doesn't know where the coax, our feed point, is installed. So there's two ways of doing this. We can either right click that and add a source to the beginning of the wire, or we could have gone into the geometry tab and we could have just typed what it's done for us. That wire one at the base, it says here, is the coax connected. And that's it, you have now made your first antenna. All right, so we'll go to the calculate button. You can tell it it doesn't make much of a difference. Let's make this out of copper wire. And we will say that we've got 16 quarter wave radials on the ground. And we hit the start button and by magic, it's given us some numbers. The, the third, fourth tab, if you remember, I said we didn't have anything, but now you can actually see it's done something. We've got a big circle on the left whatever that means. And then we've got this funny thing on the right. It would help you to realize that if I hit the far field plot, I'll maximize that as well. And control, I can do this, zoom it up as well. You can see that looking down from the top, there's our circle. And looking from the side, we can see that these gain, these lobes, all right, which are over here. You can click and drag your cursor around here to show what the uh, likely gain is in terms of its um, reference to uh, DBI. So that is your first antenna, all right? And it just shows you some of the basics. So next time we'll do some dipoles and maybe some loops. And then what we'll do is we'll get into some really heavier stuff, elevated radials and whatever. Hopefully that's give you an inkling about how this works. There's a lot more under the hood, as they say in America. That should inspire you. Good enough for today. All right, I will see you on the next one where we'll make some more stuff. All the best. Bye for now. M-M-A-N-A. -A. Three claps.